If I could just get back quickly to the issue of Mr. Sarkozy, President Sarkozy, and the issue of the burqa. It is the right, uh, whatever you feel about it, it is the right of the elected president of a republic like France to say where France draws the line, what uh, behavior it permits, and what behavior it will not permit. I myself am amazed at those people who talk about the importance of dialogue, uh, um, shutting down dialogue when it begins. Mr. Sarkozy, it seems to me, has the right to say, and I think is correct in saying, that the burqa is itself a kind of fascist symbol. It is a symbol of extremism. It is not the answer to extremism. It is an example of mm. religious extremism of the worst kind, an example of oppression, an example of anti-female and indeed anti-male bigotry, which open societies like France and like Britain don't have to tolerate. And uh, I just finished by it's, that it's by not, saying not issue. that it is the right, it is the right of uh, uh, democratically elected leaders to draw lines in the sand. We already in Britain, uh, for instance, and in France, have laws against uh, nudity. You aren't allowed to walk down the street nude just because you think you'd like to. And nor uh, do we have to allow in our societies people to hide themselves throughout their adult lives from their societies. Seems to me that that's the right of the President of the French Republic to make that statement. Mr. Murray, let me just, let me just, let me just ask uh, Mr. Sullivan.